Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to merge multiple sheets into a single sheet. The merged data can also contain an extra field to hold the source sheet names. Let me walk you through the demo. Here, I have data for students' performance in different subjects across three tabs, each holding marks from different grades. The fields include ID, name, subject, and marks. Now let's merge these records into a single sheet. I've created a custom menu called Merge for that purpose. Let's run this. As you can see, it has merged all the sheets and the output can be seen in the sheet named Merged. A couple of things worth noting here are the ability to update new serial numbers and add an extra field. Both are optional. If you look at the source sheets, all contain serial numbers from 1 to 10. So the newly merged record will contain 30 rows and that's why the serial number has to be updated. If your sheet does not contain serial numbers, then you can turn this off. Now, if you also want to capture the sheet name, the source of the data in the merged data, then you can do that too. Here, I've pulled the grade of each student. You also have the flexibility to change the insert position of this extra grade field. Let me show you that as well. Here I am changing the insert position to two. It's like determining after how many columns you want to add this extra field. Let me also turn off the reserialization. Now, let's run again. See, this time it has inserted the grade column after the second column. Instead of grade, this could have been department or group. It will also be helpful in case you want to analyze the data using pivot tables. Also, notice this time the serial numbers are repeating after 10 because it's keeping whatever it has got from the source sheets. Now, let's do the code walkthrough. First of all, open the script editor by going to Extensions and then choosing App Script. This will open the script editor in the browser itself. On top, you can see three constants called Excluded Sheets, Merged Sheet Name, and Extra. These are provided to alter the configuration for the merge process. Excluded sheets hold the names of sheets that should not be included in the merging process. In general, your spreadsheet will contain a few extra sheets that you don't want to merge. That could be like a dashboard, reports, etc. You can enter those sheet names here separated by a comma. Merged sheet name is the name given to the output sheet. Now if you want to capture source sheet names also, then you need to have this extra option. Inside this, you can type in the name of the extra field and set its position also. Please bear in mind that it should not be greater than the total number of columns, and it should be greater than zero. In case you don't want to add the extra column, you will have to comment out the above block and uncomment this line. Coming to the function Merge Data in Sheets. This function is the heart of the script. It takes two parameters, sheet names, an array of sheet names to be merged and reserialize, a flag indicating whether to add new serial numbers. By default, reserialize is set to false. Inside the function, there's an array called data that will store the merged information from all sheets. It then gets all the sheets from the active spreadsheet and starts looping through the specified sheet names. For each sheet, it retrieves the data range and appends it to the data array. If the extra constant is defined, it adds an extra field to each row to hold the sheet name. This can be helpful for tracking the source of each row. This uses the array.slice method to insert a field name in the existing header, which is the zeroth indexed row in sheet data. I will post the link to read more about this slice method in the description. Here it uses for each to loop through all the rows and then check if it's not the header using an if condition, and then finally inserts the sheet name as per the provided position. It then shifts the data array to exclude headers from sheets after the first one. This means that it will keep the header from the first sheet and skip headers from other sheets to avoid duplication of the header row. This block of code retrieves the output sheet or creates a new one if it does not exist with the specified name, merged sheet name. The existing contents of the output sheet are cleared, and the merged data is written to it. If the reserialize flag is set to true, it adds new serial numbers to the output sheet. It assumes that your first column contains serial numbers. Finally, the merged data is returned. Coming to this function named merge, 
This is the main function that is tied to the custom menu. We first need a list of all the sheet names that need to be merged. For this, we first get all the sheets in a spreadsheet. Then we prepare a list of all the sheets that need to be excluded from the merging process. We do this by joining excluded sheet names and merge sheet names declared at the top. We then use map to get all the sheet names and then filter out the excluded sheet names. It then calls merge data in sheets with the filtered sheet names and sets true for the reserialize flag, indicating that new serial numbers should be added. In summary, this script is a tool for combining data from multiple sheets into a new sheet with options to handle extra fields and add serial numbers. It's versatile and can be adjusted based on specific needs. The same thing can be achieved by passing sheet names like this. This would be useful in case you want to merge specific sheets. Finally, this block is responsible for creating a custom menu called Merge. It uses the onOpen function that gets called when this spreadsheet is opened. And this block adds the custom menu and assigns the Merge function to it. That's it. Feel free to make a copy of this spreadsheet from the link provided in the description. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.